Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. I got married. That took priority over making these videos. Also, I kind of ran out of ideas as you can see from the last few videos that I made. Um, really, it came down to the fact that I really just didn't feel like putting a whole bunch of money into a 2012 SRT8. That being said, I still would like to, but only if I make some extra money outside of my other living expenses, because I just can't really bring myself to do it. I guess we call that maturity. I don't really know. It's also maybe stupid if I'm going to do this and not want to do that, but we'll figure that out as time goes. Right now, we have a new addition to the channel that I'm actually very excited for, and I feel like there's a lot more content to be made with it, and I feel like it's going to be a lot more interesting and more captivating and easier to think of video ideas because realistically if you don't have parts to put on a car then it's kind of hard to make videos on said car you kind of run out of ideas fast anyway long story short there's a little sneak peek here you guys will get a full video here in just a minute i've already actually recorded everything but this so uh Enjoy the video. Um, I'm very excited about this next step. I have learned very quickly and enjoyed it very quickly, and I plan on continuing to enjoy it very quickly. Um, that being said, enjoy the video. Sneak peek there. Um, and have a good one. So, we got a bike. Um, First bike I've ever owned. Uh, really barely even ridden bikes in the past. But we got a bike. Um, <laughs> I've actually already ridden it a few times and I've gotten pretty used to it. I mean, obviously there's a lot to learn. Um, experience definitely means a lot when it comes to owning a bike. But uh, anyway, this is the bike. It is a 2023 CF Moto 450 SS. Um, uh, I don't really know what else to really say about it other than it's it's a 450 cc parallel twin 270 degree crank. Um, it is completely stock. I bought it with 104 miles on it, um, and I love it. Honestly, I mean everybody wants to say that you should start with a 600 and everything else like that, but I love this bike. And I actually wouldn't change a thing. Um, it's really fun just to go around on. I mean, I, I didn't want it to go and be a speed devil on or anything like that. Uh, I actually wanted it specifically so that I could just go cruise and have a good time. Um, so far, it's done just that. Um, I've got a few parts on the way, uh, like a windscreen, a tail tidy, fender eliminator, um phone mount a couple of little random things here and there i still need to clean this thing it is absolutely filthy um but yeah outside of that i'm loving it and i'm loving everything about having a bike so here uh here i go i'm going to show you the bike and then we're going to go for a, a little ride So this bike also is pretty cool. It's got a full color TFT dash that has all kinds of different options. I can even go in and I can have my music on here so I can change the song through the controls right here on the handlebars. Um, I can see, I can change all kinds of stuff. I can, uh, it connects Bluetooth to my phone or my helmet. Uh, you can see all the warnings and service and everything else. Uh, you can call from here as well. Um, and it also has navigation as well. Uh, it's not the best navigation because it's through a CF Moto app. So, as I said, there is an app here. Uh, as you can see, it says SR up here because in every other country, this is a CF Moto 450 SR. But in the United States, it's an SS. Why? Who the hell knows? But it is. So that being said, you have an app. 
it has all kinds of settings and stuff that you can do. It also has down here where you can see like your trip details. Sorry, I'm trying to leave my address out of here, um, which I haven't written today, so obviously it's not there. Also, I haven't written since I got the app done because it was a whole process, like I said. Um, so yeah, it'll tell you all kinds of different information. And then basically you can just keep track of whatever you want. You can see your max speed, your, how your average mile an hour I think is on there, all kinds of different stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's the bike. Welcome to the channel, I guess. And uh, hopefully I'll get my mic working in my helmet so that I can actually talk while I'm doing my rides and maybe be able to do a little bit more. Um, but I'm enjoying the bike. Uh, I actually really, really enjoy recording riding the bike as well because I kind of also learn from my own mistakes. That being said, anyway, um, the thing needs a bath. I have not washed it yet. It is absolutely filthy. Um, definitely needs just some random little stuff here and there, uh, but I absolutely love it. I'm comfortable on it. I have 202 miles under my belt now. Um, and I finally got the CF Moto app put to me instead of the previous owner, which was a lot easier than I made it to be, to be fair, but it's fine. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at and, uh, let's go take it for a ride for a little bit. Uh, I don't have a mic inside of my helmet yet, so you'll hear me kind of talk a couple times, uh, but really it's just me riding so enjoy it all right guys well we're gonna go for our first ride looks like we've got everything kind of lined up so let's see what happens
is hot. The bike's hot too. It's not loving it either. Oh, come on guys. Let's go. You got all these gaps. be in the center but I already have like four cars stopped right behind me so I know that I don't really need to worry about somebody rear into me right now
So that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There are a few parts coming for this that I'm very excited to put on. The best part is, is that at the end of the day, it's a Chinese bike. So all of the parts you can get for a whole bunch cheaper on Ally Express. It just takes forever to get here, but I can get it for next to nothing. So that being said, I do have a few things coming for this and I'm pretty excited for it. Um, so continue, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's something you guys want me to talk about, like it, the process of buying the bike, what you should look for in a bike, stuff like that, because I've learned a lot in this process and I would love to share the information with you guys. So let me know if there's anything, any topics that you want me to cover as far as bike content, Jeep content, whatever, it doesn't really make a difference. I also got sent a DJI Action 4 camera. I technically had to pay some for it, but I got it for next to nothing. So that was pretty cool too. Um, so I have this now, my cameras uh, should have some better quality now. Um, I guess you guys can let me know what you guys think because I haven't actually seen this footage yet. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to let me know any topics that you want me to talk about. And uh, hopefully soon we can get an exhaust on this thing because it is way too quiet and it reminds me of the vehicles in the Jetsons. So that being said, have a good one, guys.